This is a wireless microphone transmitter picked up cheaply, or possibly for nothing, in a box of junk at a recent ham fest. It doesn't look much on the outside, but when you open it up, it operates on an interesting frequency, 151.6 megahertz. Inside, there's a mic and line switch and provision for a gain control, but it's not actually fitted. The microphone uses two AA batteries, meaning its output power is only going to be a few milliwatts. The first thing I did was to look up the ACMA's website. I found the LIPD class license. LIPD stands for Low Interference Potential Devices. Basically, short range, low powered transmitters, unlikely to cause interference to anyone else. I found that 151.6 MHz was in an LIPD segment. Also, there are no assigned frequency allocations nearby. Therefore, I would be able to use this, provided it's under 100 milliwatts, which it definitely is, to do various experiments. People using this would put the transmitter on their belt and have a small electric microphone with a clip on their lapel or tie. This transmitter didn't come with an electric microphone, but I could plug some headphones in and could speak into them and hear something on a receiver. Electric microphones require a small amount of power to drive them. Just for fun, I connected a flashing LED to the microphone connection, in series with a resistor of about 330 ohm. There is enough current to flash the LED. The effect of that was to produce a distinctive signal that could more easily be traced if I was going to do a range test. With the transmitter up, now ready to do a range test. I'll be using two receivers, a handheld for FM reception, and when that gives out, the SSB transceiver. That will have a much longer range, particularly when used with this two element beam. The flashing LED isn't producing much of an effect that you can hear on FM, so you'll have to take my word for it that at 200 metres, it's still fully quieting, or very nearly. At 400 metres, it's still solid. This section of the beach, around a kilometre, is quite solid signal still. This is about 1.2 kilometres, and right here it's fully quieting. But only if I stand in the one spot. This is nearly 1.5 kilometres, and it's not even breaking the mute.
The carrier though is still playing the audible. Two and a half kilometers away and I can just hear traces of the signal on the FM receiver. One SSB, it's still a good signal. So to summarize, with the handheld receiver and the standard antenna, it has a range of about a kilometer with signals pretty much gone by 1.5 kilometers. Given the strength of the signal at two and a half kilometers, you'd almost certainly be able to hear it with this setup at five and possibly at 10 kilometers. Not bad for a few milliwatts, just above two meters. I've now disconnected the LED and put in an electric microphone. You can see it just on this piece of plastic. I've taken the LED off the Digitech transmitter and connected instead an electric microphone. I've got it on this piece of plastic and it was quite difficult because the cable used was extremely fine. Very thin enameled copper wire that I had to strip back and then solder onto the back of the microphone. Probably thinner than a human hair. The cable I was using came from some in-ear earphones. I've threaded it through this plastic to relieve stress on the microphone connections and I've also put some glue around it as well. I'll have this operating as a transmitter inside and do another range check. Our first amplifier type is a simple one transistor audio amplifier, not using many parts at all. Another variety of mixer is this balance modulator. It's a similar arrangement with four diodes, but in this case, there's only one ferrite. The receiver is just to transmit it backwards. I'll finish off with transceivers and how the same module can be shared. The signal starts and is generated by the radio frequency oscillator. These days, more modern synthesizers have replaced the frequency multiplier chain. Another train.